Well, greetings interwebs. Given all the issues I've had in my yard with the uh, <laughs> raccoon and other such pests, I decided I should order some motion sensor lights, but we get some solar, so I don't have to run, worry about running power to them. So I ordered some on Amazon. They'll be here right away, uh, probably tomorrow, and then we'll get to installing them. Hopefully, that'll help with any future pest issues. Stand by. Tomorrow. So yeah, I bought these uh, motion sensor solar powered floodlights. I'm gonna put them around the house. You see I've had them sitting, charging in the sun. And now the sun is about to go down. It's time to mount them. Let's get going. Well, I was gonna get started with the installation. Turns out the battery in my drill is dead. So I'm gonna charge for a little bit. Stand by. Later. Okay, battery's charged. Here we go again. Light install, take two. And there we have it. Where is it? There. Hopefully, they'll work. We'll come out after dark and see how they do. They're supposed to be light sensitive. They should start working in the dark. So, stand by. Well, it's finally night out. Getting dark. Let's go test the security light and see how it works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, first one to test. Up here above the front entrance huh wow that's um quite a letdown hey we gotta look at the instructions to see there's an on and off switch so I just read this in uh, the instructions probably should have done that before I hung the lights up I gotta go take them all back down push the button on the back of the light and then put them back up their default mode out of the box is just off. There's three settings. Setting one, the light just comes on and stays on. 
the setting two, it's really bright, and then it goes out, or it goes dim and stays that way. Setting three comes on really bright, 15 seconds, and then shuts back off. So, <sighs> try us again tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. So here we go again. Got to go um, take all the security lights back down, turn them on, and put them back up. Most of them, the screw heads had stripped out as I put them in. Really cheap screws. So I thought, well, it's no big deal because I'll never take them out again, so it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to go take them back out. Some of them I'm going to have to grab the head with some vice grips and just take it out by hand. And I'm going to replace it with better screws. So, here we go again. That's it. We're all done. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, so obviously I'm not going to get any darkness to test them with. So, well, one thing we can do. We wait. Okay, it's dark out. We're going to go test the lights and see how they work. Try this one first. I'd say that's a uh, good job. You see it's shining down nicely onto the entrance. Yeah, awesome. Let's try the ones around the side. I love these lights. Okay, here's the one by the van. This is the one I'm really concerned with. Aha! So we've got good positive light on the van. Now, I don't know if the ones in the back will work because the lights are on back here. We shall see. I love my uh, <laughs> backyard party lights. Okay, there's the one over the back porch. Yep, it works. Decent motion detection from way out here. And now, the last but not least, this one. Son of a gun, they all work correctly. I would definitely call that a result. Okay. So there you have it, interwebs. Yeah, <laughs> I did something right. These lights, my little motion lights, yeah, they work well. So, on that happy and successful note, see you. <laughs>